Hello and welcome to Watch Me Movie. My name is Ryan and today we are watching a double bill of Hannibal episodes. Sorry for my absence over the last few weeks. I know, I know, it's been terrible. I did announce it on the um, community tab for the page, I think. I'm pretty sure I did. I will have to take breaks like this from time to time to catch up on uni work and meet deadlines and stuff like that. So if I ever do uh, stop uploading for a week or so, then just check the community tab and there'll be a notice in there letting you know when I'll be back. We have got a slightly different setup today um, because my room's been moved about a lot while I've been recording and working and stuff. It's probably just for today, but if it turns out that I prefer it this way or you prefer it this way, then I'll, I might just keep it as well. We'll see how it goes. It's been a couple of weeks since I've watched a Hannibal episode, so I'm looking forward to watching two in a row so that we can uh, get back up to speed and get back into it. So let's jump straight in at these episodes. Um, if you appreciate this reaction, then consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, then consider doing the thing. <laughs> Let's finally get into some Hannibal. Ooh. The headpiece appears to be the only recent victim. I guess it wasn't enough for him to kill them once. He had to come back and defile his victims. <laughs> That's mental. Look at the size of it. If you ever played the forest, she reminds me of that. I am curious to see how I did that. Collected all my raw materials in advance. According each its rightful place. My latest victim, I say for last, I want him to know my design. Nice shot. Well, I wasn't expecting you. He wasn't expecting him. You lost time. Brother, there is something wrong with me. You have an empathy disorder. What you feel is overwhelming you. I know, I know. You were at the crime scene when you disassociated. Tell me about it. It was a totem pole of bodies. When faced with this killer's achievements, your mind needed to escape, and you lost time. I'm worried about you, Will. I don't want you to wake up and see a totem of your own making. Doesn't he? I hear my dad's voice. He whispers what he told me. He told me he killed girls. So he wouldn't have to kill me. He should have killed you. So he wouldn't have killed me. So he wouldn't have killed me. <laughs> So that you wouldn't have killed me. I'm sorry about yesterday. I wasn't feeling like myself. Is there something you want to tell me? I know, no, no. If there's a problem, you need to tell me. It's fine. Convincing. The families of your father's victims filed wrongful death suits. What you have here is all you have. How much would I get if you wrote a book about me? Plenty. Okay. Let's tell my story. How many bodies? We got 17 in total. Single stab wound to the heart. Other injuries were post-mortem. Yeah, he was special to him somehow. There are at least eight other bodies that are recent grave robbings from all across West Virginia. They're all murders. Every death is different. Made to look like something else. This killer's design was to remain unnoticed, a ghost until now. Well, I don't want to interrupt if you're rehearsing. Or... <laughs> Come on in. Mm. I regretted leaving your house the other night. Or are you still in a state of regret? I'm crisscrossing the state line. You telling me that to confuse me? Oh uh, no, what the hell? I don't want to mislead you, but I don't want to lie to you either. I can't just have an affair with you. Why? <laughs> Why? It's because I think you're unstable. And until that changes, I can only be your friend. I mean, he is getting pretty damn unstable. Freddie Lowndes is dangerous. She said she wanted me to write about you guys in the book. What you write, you write about all of us. I don't need your permission. Why can't I tell everybody that they're wrong? If you open this door, Abigail, you won't control what comes through. I'd heed that warning, Abigail. Fletcher Marshall, murdered in 1973. His grave was robbed five days ago. Wait, so... 
Surely after 40 years, a body is just bones. What do I know? His body was found in the woods. He was frozen. How did he die? I've had the body flown down here. I want Abigail Hobbs to identify it for us. She already has nightmares about him, Jack. My instincts tell me that Abigail has answers that we have not heard. Miss Hobbs, I want you to look at this man. That's him. This man, Nicholas Boyle, was gutted with a hunting knife. You think I did this? Did the two of you know each other before the night he attacked you? Dr. Lecter saved my life. He saved me from him. She did all right. Because any reservations I have about Abigail don't extend to Hannibal. He has no reason to lie about any of this. Oh. I wasn't sure what she was saying about him then. It can be a comfort to see the broken, bloated corpse of a monster. Is that why you uncovered his body? Would this be a chapter in your book, Abigail? No. You jeopardized my life as well as your own. I deserve more than that. I need to trust you, Abigail. What if I can't? Annabelle makes me really tense now because she just not you don't know what he's gonna do. I'm unarmed. Are you confessing to the murder of Joel Summers? And 15 others. I killed Joel Summers because he was never meant to be. I could wave at a lady and smile knowing I killed her husband. Prison is going to be a luxury. I'm securing my legacy. He was your son, Joel Summers. You didn't secure your legacy, Mr. Wells. You murdered it. I like that guy's acting. I liked his voice and stuff. It was cool. I'm not sure who it is. And he must be a strong old man. Let's just say he had a winch to get that pole up. Abigail Hobbs killed Nick Boyle. Yes, I know. I helped her dispose of the body. Not well enough. Well, Nicholas Boyle attacked us. Abigail's only crime was to defend herself, and I lied about it. We are her fathers now. We have to serve her better than Gary Jacob Hobbs. If you go to Jack, then you murder Abigail's future. Do I need to call my lawyer, Will? We can tell no one. What we are doing here is the right thing. I've really stopped like uh, commenting on the sort of cinematography and the technical aspects of Hannibal. It's because I'm really into the story, but I do appreciate the all that stuff still. It's just we kind of passed it in Hannibal. I'm here because I want to tell Abigail's version of the truth. See that you do. Well, you all want what's best for Abigail. Well, knows, doesn't he? You will keep our secret, and he will lie to Jack Crawford about you. No one will know what you did. I can't hear you. I helped him. Met the girls. The girls that look just like me. Is that a shock to Hannibal? I wondered when you would tell me. Guess not. And Will and I? We're going to protect you. Hmm. So the stakes really just went up in this episode. Why have I gone black and white? Oh, is she dreaming? Our memory. Both. Mind if I sit? How about you? That was a bit, um, horror movie-ish. Abigail Hobbs ended Nicholas Boyle. You've taken her life. Yeah. We both know the unreality of taking life. They're not flesh. But light and air and color. I feel like I'm fading. I'd like you to draw a clock face. 
7.16 p.m.? A simple reminder. Wow. Yeah, as I was saying uh, during the previous episode, I'd, I've stopped sort of commenting on the technical aspects of Hannibal, like uh, the cinematography and things like that. I don't mention it as much, but I still appreciate it. I thought that fish's head were going to turn into someone's face then. Whoa! What? Is that real? Well. I've seen you confused and I've seen you upset, but I've never seen you afraid like this. You contaminated the crime scene. You've never done that before. I got lost in the reconstruction. Her name was Beth LeBeau. She drowned on her own blood. I've got a clean set of prints on the knife handle. I assume they're yours. Sorry. After he cut up the victim's face, looks like he was trying to pull her skin back. I can't remember seeing the crime scene before I saw myself killing her. You must overcome these delusions that are disguising your reality. I can recommend a neurologist. Dr. Lecter here is one of the sanest men I know. I would agree. So, Will, these headaches, when did they begin in earnest? I just slowly became aware that I might not be dreaming. It's encephalitis. That's your pre-diagnosis? He started sleepwalking and I noticed a very specific sense. It is so rare to be able to study the psychological effect of this type of malady on a person's mind. Even in these terms, we know so little about the brain. There are great discoveries to be made. It's anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. The symptoms are only going to get worse. I know. It's unfortunate for Will. What's Hannibal's game here? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with you neurologically. Brain scans can't diagnose uh, mental disorders. I had eight college girls dead in Minnesota. Will caught their killer for me. He also caught their killer's disease. He saw a neurologist today. They found nothing wrong with him. He was very upset by that. You think he's mentally ill? When you take him to a crime scene, Jack, in those places, he doesn't just reflect. He absorbs. No way. It's 1.17 a.m. We're in Greenwood, Delaware. And you can hear me. You're alive. Why did you call me? Because I'm not entirely sure what I saw was real. An entire layer of dead skin separated from the underlying tissue, like, like she was wearing a glove. What did you do with it? I don't know. So she mutilated a woman's face because she thought it was a mask. She can't see faces. You're the subject of a lot of speculation at the Bureau. The Jack pushed you right up to the edge. I feel relatively sane. I spoke to Dr. Sutcliffe. We briefly discussed the particulars of your visit. Would you like to discuss them with me? You wouldn't publish anything about me, would you, Dr. Lecter? Just do me a favor and publish it posthumously. Have you considered Cotard syndrome? It's a rare delusional disorder in which a person believes he or she is dead. It's a misfiring in the areas of the brain which recognize faces. Even those closest to her would seem like imposters. I tried to be a good mom. I tried to do everything that I could. What sort of symptoms did she have? I was grateful when she was catatonic. <laughs> Blood tests and brain scans and all of them inconclusive. They're just always guessing. <laughs> it's just more about managing expectations. With Miriam, I encouraged her to break the rules. I am breaking the rules with you now. Have I misrepresented you, Jack? No, no. Do you want me to quit? No. When you doubt yourself, you don't have to doubt me, too. Still love your little rare treats, don't you, Hannibal? More expensive and difficult they are to obtain, the better. Is it simply a matter of 
reputation preceding product. Then belief determines value. We know you're fond of the rarefied. What makes him so rare? Pure empathy. Imagination is an interesting accelerant for a fever. Now that we have confirmed what it is, it'll be easier to hide from him. Dr. Suckler. Is Hannibal done him? You couldn't have done this without getting something on you, and there's nothing on you. Was your Dr. Sutcliffe in the habit of seeing patients after hours when he's the only one in the office? Georgia Mansion followed you here. Why him? She can't see faces. Maybe she thought he was me. I need to look up more about these uh, specific disorders. The thinking that she's dead and not being able to see faces thing. That's interesting. <laughs> God's sake, that's terrifying. I see you, Georgia. Am I alive? Almost all sufferers of this delusion recover with treatment. How much do you think she'll remember? I sincerely hope for her sake she doesn't remember much. <laughs> I knew it were Hannibal. She can't see faces. I mean, yeah, it's got a pretty distinctive hairstyle still. That was a quick episode. Yeah, so um, that was 9 and 10 of Hannibal. Yeah, these were really good episodes. Um, things got quite intense. Those last disorders on that uh, last episode, I'm going to have to uh, Google them and have a little look at them see what um they're about i'm interested in the one where people think they're dead and they can't see faces i i don't think i'm pretty sure i've never heard of that before but yeah um interesting episodes um so now obviously things are getting <clears throat> a bit close to home for hannibal he's got um will and abigail that know about well obviously abigail killed that guy and the them two both know about him helping to dispose of the body and now there's this latest uh woman with the skin thing that um kind of saw him kill the other guy but he didn't say anything she just saw the outline of him and the hairstyle he'd pretty much if you saw ever saw hannibal again he'd be able to recognize him from that outline so it does feel like maybe um, I need I need to get back into doing the reactions. It's been you know it's been a couple of weeks. It feels a bit weird doing one again, but yeah, I enjoyed these two episodes, and I'm glad that I can get back on with watching it. I think there's like three episodes left of this season, so we'll get them out of the way soon as well. So yeah, that was nine and ten of Hannibal. The next time for Hannibal will be uh, next week. Now, that's it for today. Um, if you appreciated this reaction consider giving a thumbs up to the video if you're not already a subscriber then consider doing that as well so you don't miss any future videos the social media is in the description below as usual and all that's left to say is thanks for being here thanks for watching and i'll see you next time